Hey guys, my name's Josh. My daughter just got the smart LED strip lights uh, from GX, GIA XE, and we're going to go over how to install them. We just unpackaged one of them. If you look on the bed, we have four reels with the power cord and the uh, different, um, uh, this little guy. <laughs> the on off color mode and, and it plays music. Uh, right now, before you even set it up, I suggest you plug it in the wall and make sure all the lights work. That way you don't do unnecessary work and or you put sticky stuff all over your walls so that rips up your paint. Uh, you might as well just check them and make sure they work. So that's what we're going to do first. So just plug them in. Ooh, they all work. Pretty. You can check out your colors. And all the colors work. On, off. See the modes. All right, we're gonna test the second set of lights. All you're gonna do is plug them in. She's got multiple reels, so we'll find out. And, of course, one bad one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swap them to see if it's, a, if it's the actual light system or it's this cord in general. Because if it's just this cord, you can get rid of this one and just plug it into this one. So unplug it, remove it, plug it into the other one the male and female part, plug it in, it is this. So she has a bad reel of lights. Uh, next we'll just unplug here, here, and then test it one more time. Yep, so this reel is bad. We'll make sure that this reel is good, or this little connector piece. So guys, we have one bad reel. Uh, the whole kit costs about $30 per box. Uh, it's not really, we're not gonna ship it back in to get it replaced. We would just order a new set. Uh, and then we'll probably hit up customer service and see if they can just ship us a new one out. Uh, so just be wary about that. Before you start plugging, plugging everything in, uh, plug it in the wall first before you start lighting up your whole wall and then you find out that, hey, one's bad. All right guys, while you're testing it, you can notice on each reel there's two prongs. There's a female end and a male end. The male end will uh, attach to the female end of the main adapter, but you also have this female adapter here where you can plug additional reels into one. That, that way you're not using like this Medusa cord. You're just using one singular cord to go around the room. So right now we're just going to test hooking up to one cord. And it was made to work like this so it shouldn't short anything, hopefully. Alright guys, so we could only get two connected before and I, it might be something wrong with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one in a different chain. Uh, this is a bunch of plug and playing. So unplug. We'll plug in this one, the one that wasn't lighting up when it was on the very end, into the first slot. And see if it works. Don't force these prongs. They're very uh, brittle. So you can mess them up real real fast. They're these little guys right here. Little tiny, very brittle. So we're gonna plug it in and see if we can make that chain work. Oh wow. <laughs> so the reel that was bad originally, I ended up plugging it again uh, just to make sure because I thought one of these connections were bad. Turns out that all I had to do was replace one of these little guys. And also, just so y'all have a heads up, make sure there, there's two little arrows on these black uh, joints. Make sure the arrows are inward towards each other. So if you can see, I don't know if Mama Bear can zoom up on that. Is it hard? Yep, can't see it. Okay, there's two arrows. They have to go towards each other. If you have the arrow on one side opposite of the other arrow, it's a negative and a positive and they're not, they're not connecting properly. So now all four reels work. This is so cool. And a happy teenager. I'm excited. <laughs> Daddy, I need you to beat this boss. <laughs> Yay. Now we're paused for game. <laughs> we want a new character on Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> 30 minutes later. Hey guys, so we just checked out all this stuff. I just got done with the game, want a new character. We're gonna start with the first reel uh, directly. So again, remember the two, arrow, the two arrows need to touch on the same side. So white arrow, black arrow are touching on the same. Uh, we're gonna unplug it first. The easiest way to get this out, you can see the inner one is on the very bottom. This is plastic, it's very flexy. 
Uh, all you do is pull it back like that, put the cord underneath, don't try to fight it any other way or try to, I don't know, don't, don't, let's not play dumb games. So all you're doing is unreeling it out and you'll start at the bottom. This will be your bottom section closest to your outlet. So you can plug this right back in. Remember arrow to arrow. Boom. So arrow to arrow and then we can start. All you're doing, the reason why you're plugging this in is just to see how much cord you have at the bottom compared to your outlet. So we're going to put hers behind her door. So on the light system itself, it has a sticky plaster. So all you do is you peel it and then you start placing it where you want it. So we want it to plug this in, get a, just a general idea or estimate. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it along the crease. You can see this crease and we'll just show you at the end. So guys, we went to the ceiling because when I started arching it here and everything, it just didn't, it, it wasn't clean. So it's going to do a downward or a nadir shot towards the ground. And then we're just lining it up and sticking as we go. We just started at the bottom and then just made a straight line all the way up. And just press on it every inch to make sure it's a, adhered to the wall. Good to go. So we started at the bottom and we ran it all the way up the wall. On the first reel, we got all the way over here. This is probably like a, uh, I don't know, 15 foot piece of strand. Uh, but when you have this little dangling part, there's no more tape along the wire, so you just take like a fastener piece, hold the wires in, it's got some sticky backing, and you place it on the wires, and then you just fasten it to the ceiling. Flatten out the wires as much as possible, get it all nice and clean, and press. Take the slack out, and you're going to take the slack out again. It's sort of going to droop down a little bit. It's not going to take it all the way out, it's just to hold that weight. Next we're going to take the second strand in there and then this one we'll take the additional slack out, pull this tight, arrow to arrow again, don't forget the arrow to arrow before you plug them in. Uh, and you can double check them again too, so once you plug them in, plug it in the wall, see if it works, make sure it's working uh, before you start doing it again. Always triple check the wires and all the electricity you run into it or you're just going to put duct tape everywhere, you might rip up your walls if you have uh, not the greatest paint. So what we'll do is we'll plug it in one more time, test the lights, and then I'll begin taping again. And if you're too short, a spoon always works. All right guys, we're getting towards the end. You got your little control panel here, your 3M tape. You put it on the bottom. I put a fastener right here, right at the connections. Arrow to arrow, remember. And we're just gonna clean it up as much as possible. Make sure it's all even and then place it after I take off the other side of the sticky. <laughs> All we did is do the 3M tape on the back of the uh, main controller and 3M on the back of the, uh, the battery harness and then plugged it in. Next is your remote. It's got a uh, like a watch battery in the back of it. You just pinch this together and pull out and it pops out. And it's sort of cheaply made. I mean once you touch it you'll, you'll find out but it's very simple. On then you have all your colors, red, green, blue, white, and then got some volume plus or minus, but we don't have anything like that. Uh, you can adjust these to how bright you want them, 25, 50, 75, 100, put you to sleep at night. Uh, where's my purple? That's what I would use to go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's easy enough. And that's it. Very simple. This is what it looks like now that it's finished and lit up for the night. Green. Blue. White. Those are the main colors and then here's like yellow. So overall, how do you rate your gift? 10 out of 10. You 10? Yeah. Can't beat it? Kind of cool. I like it. Yeah. Like I didn't realize this had so many settings. Oh, I like that one. <laughs>